If you've heard about Hotel Eshker at Arte in Mexico, then you might already know how absolutely stunning the resort is, but what about the food? Well, in this video, I'm gonna give you a food tour of everywhere and everything we ate at the resort, and give you some tips and recommendations for if you're planning a trip here too. First up is Mercado de San Juan, which is a buffet restaurant that's by far the biggest on the property. They have outdoor seating as well as indoor seating and are open for all meals, but we liked going for breakfast. Their selection is absolutely insanely massive, and you could probably eat here every day, every meal for a week, and still not be able to try everything. You'll have options for every American breakfast food you could think of, but what I really recommend is the Mexican food because hey, you're in Mexico, and in particular, go to this station because the here they'll cook quesadillas, huaraches, and picaditas to order the way you like it, and everything comes on different types of tortillas that are actually handmade on site by the ladies in the back of the same station, and they also make them for the taco stations that are around the buffet too. The ladies that worked here were so nice and helpful, and there's also a salsa station to top off what you just ordered for extra flavor. I tried a bunch of things for our first meal here, but the food from that station was our favorite, so we went straight there for our second time eating here, and also made sure to get some tacos on those handmade tortillas. Another must try if you have a sweet tooth are their churros and bunuelos, which are Mexican filled donuts. And these are not pre-made a while ago or frozen. They were frying the dough fresh right behind this display and they were absolutely delicious while not being overwhelmingly sweet. And speaking of sweet, on one of the weekend days we were there, they had an entire candy bar set up near the exit where you could grab as much as you wanted on your way out. Next is Arenal, which is a restaurant that serves lunch and dinner and is located close to the beautiful inlet next to the beach. And when we went for lunch, they gave us an entire basket of different hot sauces, including two house-made signature ones that were both delicious. We ordered the lote, which we loved, the suckling pig tacos, which were a little bit dry, and the Baja fish tacos, which I'd say is a must order. The presentation is really nice, the fish was flavorful and nicely fried, and it came with tartar sauce on the side, plus fresh warm tortillas to build your own tacos. We also came here for dinner on a different day, and they do have a different menu and a different experience, including a nice non-alcoholic signature drink where they smoked something on top. They also gave us a bean dip appetizer with a side of crispy tortillas, chicharron, and salsas. As for what we actually ordered off the menu, we got steak and bone marrow tacos, which were amazing, highly recommend, and kampachi, which wasn't very good, I just don't think the fish was the best. We also ordered grilled octopus, which was pretty good, and the t-bone steak, which was just okay. Overall, we had a good time, but I'd say lunch is a little bit stronger. Close to Arenal is Cayuco, which is the other buffet restaurant on the property. It's much smaller than Mercado, but I'd say the best thing here is the ceviche and aguachile. They have a selection of pre-made ones, which were all good, and they also had an option to make your own, and they would mix it all up for you after you chose your fish, your toppings, and sauces. We came here for a lighter meal, so eating a bunch of ceviche with tostadas on the side was perfect for what we wanted and really delicious. We also had pina coladas, which were the same ones that the bars at the pools serve, and honestly, it's probably the best pina coladas that we've had. As a side note, on top of all the restaurant options on the property, there's also food carts that pop up, like this Esquites and Elotes cart, and a late night taco stand that sets up outside of the Speakeasy bar. We made sure to be there right at 11 p.m. when they started serving, so we could get there before the bar crowd got out and these carne asada tacos were super good. If you haven't tried them, the tortillas and salsas in Mexico are really just on another level, and that's what really makes these tacos. Cantina VIP is a bar and restaurant that can have a bit of a party vibe if you go late on a busy night, but don't be fooled, the interior is beautiful, and you can actually have a really delicious dinner here too. Their specialty is Oaxacan cuisine, and if you're up for it, they have a few adventurous things on the menu like an insect tostada and a guacamole with insects. You don't have to be an adventurous eater to enjoy a meal here, but this was fun to try. Uh, the fattest serving of cricket and worm. Whoops. Really? It's good. Wow. It's savory. Yeah. Okay, let me. Oh, eating it. No cheese. Damn, girl. Yeah, it doesn't taste like 
like much. It's good. It's good texture, right? Yeah, it's good texture. Better than the ranch grab sauces? Yeah. They mostly just taste like salty crunch. How is it? It's good. Like you actually like it? Yeah, I actually like it. <laughs> What's freaking you out? Because I have like a big grasshopper and the leg is sticking out. I'm like, oh. <laughs> Going back to the food without insects, on one of the nights we ate here, they gave us a bean dip appetizer that we loved, and it also came with house-made salsas, which were delicious. We also had shrimp tacos, which were a big favorite, and the ribeye tacos, which came with chips and chili peppers. And the sides were my favorite part of this dish, but I did run into a little problem with one freak pepper. This jalapeno that came with the taco. <laughs> They're wild, usually yeah. not this spicy. A few moments later. This is worse than the bomb from Hot Ones. Oh my god. Five minutes later. I'm usually not this bad. We stumbled upon Appa Pachoa completely on accident while we were trying to go to the rooftop of our casa, but what we found was this beautiful restaurant set up before sunset. We found out that it's a newer vegan restaurant on the property, so we decided to eat dinner here. We started with this traditional hand washing ritual where we each rubbed this natural soap over a basin. The soap just smelled like delicious chocolate, and they poured warm water over our hands and then even provided the towel to dry off. Then we had a non-alcoholic cocktail where they smoked a star anise and orange peel on top and the drink was a little smoky, refreshing, and delicious. For food, we started with a black olive hummus served with pita bread, which was simple but really delicious and one of our favorites of the meal. Then we had a pumpkin cream soup, which was very unique and we did not expect it to be green. Second mocktail, I had activated charcoal and ginger, which tasted almost like a less carbonated cola. We also ordered a roasted cauliflower with pipion verde sauce, which was another favorite. And during our meal, we were just watching the sunset and the vibes were just immaculate. Our last savory dish was a vegan huarache with salsas and cactus or nopales on the side. And then for dessert, we had a vegan blueberry cheesecake as well as a golden milk latte, which I've seen a million times on menus but never tried before. The blueberry cheesecake wasn't bad, but I feel like it needed a different name because it tasted nothing like cheesecake even knowing it was vegan. And it was icy like sorbet more than creamy, but I did really love the golden milk latte. We loved the hospitality and the setting of Appa Pachoa so much and our server from dinner encouraged us to come back for breakfast. So we decided to go back the very next morning for a light meal of just fruit bowl with granola and a smoothie we requested to go. Definitely want to go back to try their full breakfast another time. They also gave us this palate cleanser at the end of breakfast, which was a nice refreshing lime and basil sorbet. Last but definitely not least is Encanto, which is a fine dining restaurant by chef Paco Mendez, who has a Michelin star Mexican restaurant in Barcelona. You'll definitely want to make reservations ahead of time for this one because they're required and do get booked out. The restaurant is spacious, but we sat in this smaller, more intimate room with an artsy wall of wine bottles and moody red lighting. 
The meal is a set tasting menu and I wish I could tell you the details of everything we ate, but they didn't have a printed menu and we sometimes had a hard time understanding our server in explaining what were pretty complicated dishes. But what I can tell you is that everything tasted delicious and definitely on par with other Michelin star meals we've had. Hope this video was helpful and inspires you to visit Ashkaret Arte. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more.